But what's quite striking is the business community has, I think, two parts in the case of One Belt, One Road. One group who are waiting to see. They are sitting it out, looking to see, will this actually take shape? Will the funds get deployed? Will it be possible to actually invest and see a return? Will it be possible to be a part of this in terms of a construction company or an advisory firm? Let's wait and see. There's another group who I think are looking at this and saying, if you think about the scale of what we're discussing and the potential with the notion of maybe it could actually happen, I would like to be a part of that early and in there now. And that group are already mobilizing, trying to figure out what exactly does One Belt, One Road mean? How do we test the waters and figure out if we can actually deploy funds and be a part of either the infrastructure build out or the discussion around what the trading agreement should look like? And that group's already mobilizing. One example, Hong Kong hosted a conference on the subject One Belt, One Road, the One Belt, One Road Summit. Two and a half thousand business leaders showed up, a remarkable number. It was attended by the most senior leadership in China, including Chairman Zhang, the number three in China's hierarchy of political leadership. And the scale of that presence gave me a sense that there are a large number who are trying to do something now and who decided that actually sitting it out carries more risk than trying to be a part of this now.